Okay, so uh, we are still on the section of factorization of polynomials over integral domains. Okay, and we have a third example, x squared minus 2. And we are going to check if it is reducible or irreducible over the rationals. <clears throat> and if it is reducible or irreducible over the real numbers. Okay, so f of x equals x squared minus 2. It's obvious that we can do f of x, we can factor into factors. So x squared minus 2, we can do x plus 2 times x minus 2. And let us check if it is reducible or irreducible over the rational numbers. Okay, so over the rational numbers, uh, one of these factors is a unit because it's invertible. So we can say that x squared minus 2 is irreducible over the rational numbers. Okay, uh, what about um, what about the reals? What about the real numbers? Well, for the real numbers, uh, uh, it suffices to take f of uh, what f of square root of two, right? f of square root of 2 is 0, right? So this is a simple fact. So obviously the fact, the, 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 the polynomial is reducible over the real numbers. Okay, another example. We take x squared plus 1 and let us check if it is reducible or irreducible over Z, Z3 and over Z5. Okay, you have many ways to check this, but over Z3, over, let us start by Z5. It's easier somehow. Why? Because over Z5, so Z5 is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? F of 0 is 1. Right, f of 1 is 2, and f of 2, 5, so f of 2 is 0, right? So it's obvious that we can say that is reducible over z5. Okay, if you do the same for z3, there is no root. And you can check that this polynomial is um, irreducible over Z3. So I'm going to write it irreducible over Z3. Okay. Um, this is not easy to say sometimes if a polynomial is reducible or, or not reducible over a given integral domain, okay? So, in some cases it is easy, in others not so easy, okay? So, we are going to... to we are going to show some... a, uh, a couple of theorems that will help us. Okay, here we have a theorem that is going to help us. A theorem about the reducibility test for degrees 2 and 3. Let f be a field. If f of x, a polynomial in the field, so f of x, f of x is in the field of polynomials, field of polynomials, and the degree of f of x 
the degree of fx is 2 or 3, then we say that fx is reducible over the field. Okay? We say that if and only if f of f x has a zero in the field. Okay, we used that before. Okay, I some I jumped, and I sometimes I use the fact that if I have an a in the field and f of a is zero then we say that the polynomial is reducible over f. OK, let us quickly prove this theorem. So we have f of x and we manage to factorize f of x in gx and a in a h x obviously g, g and h are in the polynomial field and obviously the degree of g of x and the degree of h of x they both have to be smaller than the degree of f x Okay, but we have two facts. The degree of f of x equals the degree of gx plus the degree of hx, right? And by hypothesis, the degree of fx is 2 or 3. So the degree of fx is 2 or 3. So that implies that either the degree of g or the degree of h, one of them has to be 1. One of these polynomials has to have degree 1. Let us say that gx is degree 1, because one of them has to be of degree 1, so let us say that it is without loss of generality, because if it is not g, it will be h, so let us say it is g, the one of degree 1. So it will be in the form ax plus b. So if this is in the form ax plus b, x equals minus 1 to the power of minus 1 times b, it will be a 0 of this g of x. OK? You can, you can check that. It's easy to, to do this and see that this is 0. So if this is a 0 of g of x and g of x is a factor of f of x so this x will be also a 0 of f of x. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Okay, so it is proved that so we proved in in one direction right we proved in this direction that f um, f is reducible over the the field now let us prove in the other direction now we simply admit that there is a element a that is the zero of the polynomial. Of course, a has to be in the field. So if a is a zero of the polynomial, uh, so x minus a will be a factor of fx and and that means that f of x is reducible is reducible over the field okay and that proves our theorem okay we proved here the 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 implication and then converse conversely we proved here 
Okay, in, in the other direction. Okay, so this is a reducibly reducibility test only for degrees two and three. Okay, if f is a field, if f of x is a polynomial in the field of polynomials, and the degree of the polynomial is two or three, then we just proved that f of x is reducible over the field if and only if f of x has a zero in the field.